Good evening, Governor Whitmer, Mr. Wallace, thank you for joining us. My name is Austin Williams. I'm a master's student with the School of Information, and I have a question for you both. Uh, recent state and national elections have highlighted the influence of social media platforms in swaying the opinion of voters. What advice would you give young adults and first-time voters about separating fact from fiction on social media? <laughs> we looked at each other. It's a, good, it's a wonderful question. Um, I think one of the challenges for uh, people like me is how do we communicate in a way that um, is, is accurate and persuasive and accessible? Um, you know, I have a TikTok account, and the reason I have it is because so many of you are on TikTok, right? It's where you get a lot of your information. Now, I have it on a device that is attached to nothing else, one device devoted to TikTok because it's a communications tool, and we've got to have cybersecurity, and we know the real threats of how social media is being used and how the information is being um, utilized as well. I also know that there are... I do think that Congress has an important role in terms of ensuring that accurate information is being disseminated. The way that it is being curated to feed into someone's all current interests and then to abuse that power of having that intel intelligence, um, I think is really dangerous. It is part of what matriculated into the January 6th you know, insurrection at the Capitol, the, the pervasive misuse of people's information and dissemination of inaccurate um, material, I, I think poses a real current threat to our democracy. And I, I, as great a proponent as I am of free speech and access, I've got real concerns about how social media um, promoters are misusing it and, and hurting people with it. So I, I don't know that that's a great, I haven't given you a great solution, but I, I have a lot of concern and anxiety around what is happening around social media. It's a gr it can be a great tool, but it also is incredibly dangerous. I, I would just add a couple of things to that. that. That, you know, I think you need to put I think you should be very skeptical about something you read online. I mean, with knowing about all the disinformation, knowing about all the bots, uh, you know, there are a lot of people who have a vested interest in leading you in the wrong path. So, you know, not to, there are different news organizations, but I, I would tend to put my faith in an organization that you know exists, that whether it's a newspaper or a television network, or uh, you know whether there's that, that it's an institution that they have uh, a, 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 a potential. I know that Dominion raises questions about this, but that they have a vested interest in having some form of accuracy, and that there's an editorial process. The other thing I would say is that in this world where there is so much information and misinformation. I think that you have to be an educated consumer of news. And in that sense, uh, I, you know, my feeling is get, get your news from more than one source. If you like the front page of the New York Times, uh, read the editorial page of the Wall Street Journal. If you, if you uh, like uh, the news on NBC, you know, maybe you watch a newscast on Fox or something, and almost like a GPS system to kind of triangulate and see the different ways in which stories are being portrayed. In the end, it's up to you to make up your own mind. Don't follow just blindly something you read somewhere, particularly if you have no idea about the credibility or even the, you know, the honesty of, of, of this who, with this source of information, because there are a lot of people who are very much directed towards misleading you. 